Hey, Scott here. Just a quick note um, about stress. These days, that's real easy to encounter um, between all of our busy lives. So some people have a little more relaxed life, and kudos for that. Uh, one of the things you know I've experienced in my past is some uh, really traumatic events that all occurred in the same year. Um, for me, it was over 25 years ago. Um, my father and my second wife passed away, and a whole bunch of other things also happened that year. And I didn't actually really know how to deal with it very well, unfortunately, and ended up screwing up my life for quite a while afterwards uh, due to all of the uh, ignorance of how to properly handle the situation. Um, recently, I've had some additional stress all in the same year. Um, some recent family member passing away events. Uh, so now the difference is that I actually have a much better handle on properly dealing with stress. And the other way to look at this situation is by acknowledging that it's actually grief. And there's lots of websites online, but there's also many places uh, out in the world, bricks and sticks, mortar, uh, bricks and mortar uh, locations. Uh, they can help you with stress and grief. There are at least five stages to grief, denial, anger, bargaining, remorse, and acceptance. If you look online, there's some places that have seven stages, whatever, that's not important. Understanding the steps of dealing with stress or grief, and even good things, can cause grief. But understanding those stages and then that they don't progress in order, they come back again later. Uh, you might be at one stage now and think you're all done. No, no, that, that is not how that works. Anyway, it's important to understand that dealing with it in a proper way is much healthier than going down the wrong road. Uh, one of the things I enjoy a lot is playing drums, creating music, but physical workouts, you know, riding a bike, going to the gym, whatever it takes for you or for me to relieve stress and working with the known stages of handling grief, stress, is the best way to approach it in a healthy way. Sometimes it's just talking with someone. So we all exist together and there are so many people out there that will help you or even just listen if that's all you need. I would suggest if you feel like you're overwhelmed for some reason, reach out. Reach out to someone. 